belongs to 250 individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities that we serve here and 400 employees who serve them. And uh, I want to uh, thank First Lady for coming here, for choosing this menu because this has lifted uh, the soul and spirits of our individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities that we serve. Thank you, all of you, for uh, coming here today. Um, so many friends, first time I'm seeing after COVID. It's such a wonderful feeling to see you face to face. Uh, special thanks to uh, Steve McAdam, the legend of our uh, Pacific Asian, South Asian, Eastern Asian community. Steve, thank you so much. Christina, you are family now. Uh, everywhere, you know, they are there spreading uh, the message of this administration. So thank you for uh, your services and uh, your office, uh, Governor's Office and Community Initiatives. Thank you. I've been asked to introduce uh, our First Lady. Uh, it's a very, very uh, difficult task to introduce somebody so accomplished. Uh, I went through her uh, uh, you know, bio and uh, there's so many awards that she has uh, won. The, Ellis uh, Award of uh, the medal, Ellis Allen medal you have. Uh, your artwork is legendary, what you have done at the BWI airport, the, the galleries that we have every time when we walk, we see these beautiful artwork. I mean, the list goes on and on and on, but I'm going to speak from my heart how I feel about First Lady. When we first heard that a First Lady is going to be an immigrant, that united all of us. You know, it was it was a feeling that oh, one of us is going to be the first lady. Our sister's going to be up there, and and uh, that that feeling was something that united all immigrants. Uh, if we are uh, Koreans, Japanese, Chinese, Indians, Pakistanis, we all came together. That one of us is uh, you know uh, going to be there, and to 
be honest with you, our sister, our first lady, has lived beyond uh, what expectations we had from her. Uh, she has been there as a wall of support and strength for the immigrant community, for the minorities, uh, and and this, you know, we've always uh, been invited to the governor's house in the past, and we were going to the governor's house. Now when we go there for an event, she hosted the Ramadan event a few weeks ago. It felt like we went to our own house. It was like we walked in our own house. So thank you, First Lady, for opening the doors of your home, for, for making us, uniting all of our, these minority communities and being there for us. Um, I can, you know, go all, uh, on and on of what the administration, the Hogan administration has done for us, the budget, uh, the surplus budget, and, you know, all the fiscal good things. Uh, but two things that come to my mind, what uh, this administration and uh, what Governor Hogan did was uh, when there were riots in Maryland, the governor brought all the communities together. When, when there were riots going on in Baltimore, he brought us together. And secondly, during COVID, um, whenever we turned the TV on, uh, the governor was always there, and uh, we felt assured, we felt comforted, and Maryland did wonderful during these COVID years. So thank you. I know we had every successful man. There is a woman, and we know you are behind our governor. So thank you, First Lady, for that. And, and uh, without any further delay, I would like to invite you to please say a few words. First Lady, Julie Hogan.